Hey guys, today we will be discussing the digital transformation of the Global South. What if the key to unlocking economic potential in the Global South lies not in the traditional brick and mortar industries, but within the realm of digital transformation? A bold proposition, indeed, but one that is increasingly gaining traction as we delve deeper into the 21st century. Digital transformation is not merely about adopting shiny new gadgets. It's a transformative process that involves a shift in thinking, working and innovating. It's about harnessing the power of digital technologies to create or modify business processes, products, services and customer experiences. Digital change is coming at the perfect time for the Global South, which includes developing Asia, Latin America and Africa. This change has the potential to improve marginalized populations' access to services, productivity and efficiency. Digital technologies have the potential to transform sectors such as manufacturing and agriculture, allowing manufacturers to increase productivity and farmers to maximize crop yields. Digital identity systems can also offer social protection and government advantages. Digital transformation has the potential to spur growth and development, resulting in the emergence of new business models, goods and solutions, as well as job possibilities and new sources of revenue. The future of the Global South could indeed be digital, and the journey towards that future is an exciting one. But as with any transformative process, challenges will arise such as the digital skills gap that impacts the labour market and the digital divide that affects access to internet and digital technologies. A number of characteristics including income, education, gender, age, location and disability have an impact on the digital divide. The mismatch between the skills needed and the skills that employers are willing to hire is known as the digital skills gap and by 2022, 54% of the world's workforce will require retraining. Cyber attacks and data breaches are examples of digital security and privacy issues that threaten people, companies and governments in the global south. Digital infrastructure digital policy and regulation and the digital innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem are examples of digital transformation enablers that the global south needs to address. Both real and virtual elements of digital infrastructure can be found there, such as fiber optic cables, internet exchange points, data centers, satellites and mobile towers. The use and advancement of digital technologies, including data security, e-commerce taxation and competition, are governed by digital policy and regulation. The ecosystem for digital innovation and entrepreneurship fosters diversity, inclusivity and sustainability while assisting in the development and expansion of digital businesses and solutions. Many sectors rely heavily on data analytics, including Twiga Foods in Kenya, Digital RMG Factory in Bangladesh, Baijus in India, Dokton Salter in Brazil and Estonia in Estonia. These platforms link smallholder farmers, optimize operations and offer primary care services at a reasonable cost by utilizing mobile, IoT, cloud computing and artificial intelligence. These tools assist companies like Dr. Consulta, Estonia, and Twiga Foods improve their operations and services by utilizing data analytics. In conclusion, the Global South's economic environments could be drastically altered by the enormous force of digital transformation. For developing nations, this may mean new opportunities and difficulties, as well as the need for new facilitators and initiatives for the Global South to achieve its objectives of inclusion, progress and development. It must accept and capitalize on the digital revolution. Okay, that concludes today's journey. I hope you found this video really helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get notified of our next videos. Thank you for watching us.